Have you ever had a free moment and wanted to fly a specific airplane? Me too, but that's not what you're seeing on the screen. I couldn't get far enough in the pre-flight. Today I'm sharing my proficiency check with you all. What did I learn? How did it go? And do you really use it or lose it? Welcome to Flight Brothers FT, produced by Tim and Lee. Plan the flight and fly the plan. All charts courtesy of Navigraph Charts, not to be used for real-world navigation. Be sure to subscribe and explore the rest of the channel for high-quality aviation content and entertainment. Welcome to Flight Brothers FT. I'm Lee, and I will be taking you through a recent flight I did with a few observations I made uh, watching my own video and replay. Definitely share some of your experiences. If you've been away from the sim for a while and are coming back, maybe you've taken a, a few months or a, even a couple years away, or any observations you may see in my video, please leave those in the comment section below. It'd be great to interact with all of you. We, we love spending time with the community. And I'll give you an advisory. What follows is a train wreck with a lot of details missing. If you've been watching the Avatab and it looks a little disorganized, you've made an astute observation. I'm clicking until I find what I'm looking for. I'm so far out of practice from flying tube liners, it's probably been about four months uh, prior to this flight since I flew, I believe it was the Zebo at the time. So I did set up the MCP with what appears to be all the correct information, so uh, that skill was at least retained. However, uh, in a uh, previous live stream we did on the channel, I actually forgot the Avatab even existed. I really had the desire to fly the INI builds A300 uh, during the day of this recording. Tim and I have a video of that aircraft on FS Elite's YouTube channel where we did a first look upon release. If you haven't seen it and that, air that aircraft interests you, please go check it out over there on their YouTube page. However, after about 40 minutes of button clicking, I couldn't get a flight plan in the FMGC or anything that remotely resembled a flight plan. I had failed to get the IRSs to align. And I actually forgot the name of Simbrief when I was trying to uh, produce my flight plan and get uh, flight calcul or, uh, fuel calculations. So it, um, it was pretty rough. The footage you're seeing here was about an hour and a half after I actually sat down to start playing on X-Plane. So again, so far out of practice. Um, again, <laughs> if you guys can relate, a comment below. I'd be really interested to know uh, how many of you have had these hurdles. Tim and I have shared these stories with one another when we've been away from Sim. It seems like when you're doing, uh, you know, when you're flying every day or two to three times a week, uh, something like that, you really do remain proficient and where that uh, starts to fall off is the longer you're away. Uh, you'll see here, okay. if we haven't already, the uh, right engine fuel valve on startup. Uh, I get the, um, the error light. I did not run the maintenance on the EFB. Uh, this has happened before on this aircraft and I think that's likely the culprit. So, uh, in addition to that, one of the things I noticed, and hopefully you will too, is that I left the cross-feed fuel pumps on for the entire flight. With the CDUs on takeoff ref and uh, CDU2 on the legs page, I still saw an FMC alert on the annunciator panel. This was coming from CDU2, so we cleared that by the time we got the takeoff. Uh, it probably should have been cleared back by taxi. The nav data was out of date, which I was aware of. 
and I updated that the day after this flight, which was also the day I began uh, video editing. As I arrive at the departure end of the runway here at uh, 25 right, I went to flip the radar on. This looks like it was in a test mode. I had one in, I believe, terrain and one in weather. Uh, I think the captains I had in weather. So I didn't verify the test mode. Again, another thing from not flying, you forget to look at it. There was no weather forecast along my route. Shortly after this, once I got airborne, I went ahead and just turned the radar off. And this departure footage you're looking at has been sped up three times, so that's why it looks a little fast. At this point, everything was smooth on the departure. Uh, of course, our FMC flight plan was loaded in there. Uh, we had no issues getting it onto the autopilot. However, that would be changing. We're on the Quakey 1 departure and our transition point is Grand Canyon. By the time we arrive there at about 31 minutes into the flight, which I will uh, cut to right now, you'll see that all of our flight plan information is gone from the FMC. I'm not sure of what caused the loss of data. You can actually see here on the uh, CDU-1 we're getting our display something wrong. I've never seen this before at 14 minutes uh, in a video clip that I produced but it's not included in this. Uh, we had all the data. By the time we're now at 31 minutes flight time, it's gone. I'm still unclear and have not further researched uh, which log that it's displaying something wrong check log. So I don't know if this was a log in the EFB my guess is possibly the log.txt with an X-Plane. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, this is the file generated every time X-Plane starts. Any errors or glitches or crashes, that's what all the developers like to see. It also tracks any of your plugins. So I didn't dig too deep into this. I did go re-download this aircraft because I'm not sure if I had the most up-to-date one since X-Plane 11.52, I believe, has come out. So I could have had my own conflicts uh, self-created here by not keeping the aircraft current, which is always why it's extremely important to double check that, especially after a new version of X-Plane comes out. As the old adage goes, aviate, navigate, communicate. With the Avatab, I kept the aircraft pointed in the general direction of my destination, which on this trip was Phoenix Sky Harbor to Seattle Tacoma. I was trying to locate the waypoints on my flight plan on the HSI, which you're seeing now. At this point, I was unable to see any that were immediately on my flight plan. And then once you zoom out, you start to lose some of that fidelity. Anyway, I just tried keeping it along the same, uh, the same general direction that I was trying to go. And I didn't actually start seeing waypoints until I was on my arrival route. So I may have been several miles off my intended path uh, based on the flight plan data but we did make it to the destination which you will see i always enjoy coming back to this one or the uh, 767 from flight factor it feels like an old pair of shoes you know perfectly broken in so that you don't have to tie them but not so worn out your back and knees pay the price that airbus was a bridge too far for me on this trip but now we can enjoy being back in this one. Despite all of the hurdles, this is probably the airframe I have the most time in on X-Plane and some previous simulators. I don't think I would have been able to overcome these challenges uh, had it not been for being in this airplane. All right, now we've fast forwarded some 90 minutes, now at 121 minutes into the flight, and we're nearing top of descent. 
you can see that the FMC still is not taking data for whatever reason. So, you know, we've got the uh, approach chart up there, the star in the, the top left of the main screen. So we're just going to point to point nav it and just use heading mode, fly it down, adhere to our um, minimum sector altitudes on descent. I'll fast forward you guys to 129 minutes and then we'll probably just compress the landing sequence. Uh, the landing's disgusting and I'm sure we'll draw plenty of criticism as well. So here we are at 154 minutes. We are beginning our descent. We've got our altitude set down to 12,000. And now we're gonna skip ahead to 160 minutes. You can see here we're on nearly short final from just under a suborbital altitude. So I didn't fly to the intermediate approach or the initial approach fix, sorry, which I should have. So this put me high, it's an unstable approach and uh, I had no VREFs, so what I was using for speed control was just the uh, flap schedule speeds posted on the panel. I forgot to arm the auto spoilers. I bounced the landing, which the spoilers should have helped with. I flared too late, and I was late on the thrust reversers. And the stick shaker, I think, also broke. So we'll see, the jury's still out on that one. Anyway, I'll let you guys enjoy this approach. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything you saw um, other than the landing gear coming through the mounting brackets. I also forgot the lighting switches on the taxi in. Anyway, it was uh, it was an interesting flight. I hope I uh, hope you enjoy me sharing this with you and criticizing uh, myself. It's, uh, it's very easy sometimes to uh, watch other videos and uh, criticize others. Sometimes it's more difficult to do it ourselves. But, you know, considering we had our main guidance system fail, uh, about 30 minutes after takeoff, we still finished our roughly uh, two and a half hour, three hour flight. So with that, I'd be interested to hear your comments, your feedback, your experiences. Please leave those down below. We'll go ahead and let this run out. Again, I'm Lee from Flight Brothers FT. Thanks for joining us. If you like our content, please like and subscribe. Follow us at Flight FT 2019 on Instagram, Reddit, and uh, Twitter. Too high. Too high. 1,000. And as we always say, plan the flight and fly the plan. Three, four, center. Too high. Too high. Up. Terrain, 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 up. Pull up. 500. Terrain, 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 terrain. Minimums. One hundred. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. If you enjoy this content, consider buying us a coffee to show your support. Visit us at buymeacoffee.com slash flightbrosft or search for us from the menu if you'd like to contribute. A link will be provided in the video description below.